This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, and especially at the moment, I do hope you're well. Uh, okay, so what we got today then? Well, um... Ask anybody who plays the guitar uh, what it was like the first time they played a bar chord, and if their memory is good enough, they will probably admit that it was agony. It was impossible. It was the most difficult thing they ever learned, and I would go along with that. The transition from not being able to do a bar chord to being able to do a bar chord, that is, I think, one of the steepest parts of the learning curve when it comes to playing the guitar. So, what I'm going to do today is show you the correct way, I think, of how to guarantee that you master the art of playing bar chords. But before we get into that, I just want to mention that playing bar chords is a combination of two factors. One is the technique, and two is the requisite strength in your hand. So, you will get to a point, and a lot of people get this uh, kind of frustration, where your technique is absolutely spot on perfect but the strength is still lagging behind a little bit so you're doing it all right and it's still not working for you don't get despondent at that stage just keep plugging on and eventually the strength will play catch up and you will have built in the correct technique and you will now have the strength and you will be able to do it. So that said, here's how I recommend you tackle the uh, the process of playing a bar chord. Okay, the correct placement of your first finger is absolutely crucial to getting any bar chord working correctly. And the first mistake to avoid is um, this one, where you're just trying to use the top part of your finger, like that, from, say, uh, where are we, this joint upwards. We don't want to be doing that. You need to use the full length of your finger, and you get that on the neck, like that. Now, how you place your finger on the neck is probably the place where most people will either succeed or fail. So I'm going to show you the correct way of doing it. Uh, lay the flat of your finger this part here directly on top of the fret wire okay so that it's absolutely in line with it and you know perpendicular to the strings okay you may need to adjust where your elbow is either that way or that way or that way or that way okay and let's not forget that your elbow is connected to your shoulder so you may need to kind of think beyond what you hand is doing and think kind of your posture in general basically so you get your finger the flat of your finger absolutely smack on the uh the fret wire and then you just tilt it slight slightly to one side what i'm going to do now is uh press down really hard i mean harder than you need to to play the chord uh, in any circumstance but what i want to do is show you which part of my finger is actually exerting pressure on the strings and you'll see that in just a second if i do that hopefully you can see there the indentations from the strings are on kind of what you would probably refer to as the corner of the finger okay so flat onto the strings directly uh, over the fret wire tilt over like that and then just these fingers now just find their way to their respective positions for the bar chord. What you also want to avoid is leaning these fingers over like this, uh, because that's not going to exert any more pressure on your first finger. It's tempting to think that it will, but it won't. Um, it's just taking pressure off the, strip, the notes that these fingers are, are trying to press down. And it's, in extreme cases, going to bend your finger, your first finger like that, so that this finger actually comes up onto the wrong fret. So don't do that. Your thumb needs to be central at the back of the neck. And hopefully, if all goes according to plan, you will now have a bar chord that sounds like this. Without any dead notes. And that is how you actually execute a bar chord in this case an F and then of course once you've learned to play a bar chord 
what you've got to be able to do is to change into it. And as you've seen there, we were using the F chord as an example. And the F chord is commonly found a lot of the time with a C chord. So that's a good useful technique, uh, a good useful chord change to have under your belt when you're setting out on this uh, bar chord to open chord or open chord to bar chord changing thing. So here's how you change from a C chord into an F chord. Okay, so what we're going to do now is look at how you change into an F from one of its uh, commonly associated chords, a C chord. And the first mistake that people make is often to kind of lift all of the fingers off, clamp that one on in the manner we described earlier, and then start looking for where these fingers go. Make sure you have the, the good F chord technique sorted first. Always make sure that before you start practicing a chord change that you have the destination chord absolutely nailed. But once you've got to that point and you can uh, execute the, the technique correctly, let's look at how you change into the, the F chord. First thing you do is you leave the C chord entirely intact. You do not move any of those fingers. What you do, however, though, is add your fourth finger on the third fret fourth string. Then your second finger moves down one string from the fourth string to the third string. And that actually gives you a chord called F major seventh, which you can kind of use every now and again in place of F, although it's not an excuse for just not knowing the F. Then the final stage is your thumb drops down to the middle of the back of the neck, like I uh, described earlier. And then your first finger kind of does that thing where you lay flat on and then tilt over slightly and there's your F chord. So you've got a C chord. First step, add your little finger. Second step, move your second finger. Third step, your first finger and thumb move in tandem to create the F. And that's how it's done. And all you've got to remember is that when you change back from the F to the C, you just reverse those steps and, you know, it's going to work in either direction. So that is today's little tip for you, how to play and how to change into a bar chord. Hope you found this useful and informative and uh, inspiring maybe in some way. And if you have, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so. And why not give me a like while you're at it? Uh, don't forget there is a fret zealot giveaway going on on the channel at the moment. Um, I'm sure you know what a fret zealot is, but if you don't, I'll show you. It's one of these things, this uh, funky little doodah, uh, strip of LEDs that uh, sticks onto the neck of the guitar, a little box of tricks up here that controls it. And if I switch it on, you'll see what happens. Can you see the, the frets are all kind of lighting up there like that? That's just the start up procedure for the fret zealot. Um, but when you control it with the app that uh, you run off your phone or tablet or whatever, um, it will light up in the appropriate places to play all kinds of wonderful things including a couple of my courses uh, play lead guitar the easy way and making the modes easy those courses are now available for the fret zealot app and to celebrate that as i say we're having a giveaway to be in with a chance of winning a free fret zealot all you got to do is make a donation of five pounds or more to zoe's place baby hospice now that is a charity in middlesbrough that i've been supporting on this channel for a long time now uh, they're a fantastic charity who do all kinds of brilliant work with very very uh, seriously ill young children so let's try and raise a bit of cash for them make your donation screenshot the receipt send it to me there's the email address on screen jrguitartuition at gmail.com and that's it you're entered into the draw I'll be picking a winner on the 7th of May and announcing who that lucky person is who will be receiving a free fret zealot pretty soon thereafter. And if you don't win, never fear, you can get one a little bit cheaper thanks to this discount code you can see on screen right now. Just use the link in the description of this video to uh, make your purchase, use that discount code and you'll get a little bit of money knocked off thanks to yours truly. 
you're welcome. And that's pretty much it for today, folks. Uh, don't forget uh, the Friday live stream. That's tomorrow, 5 p.m. UK time. We're going to have a beer. We're going to have a chat. We're going to have a laugh. It usually lasts about an hour, and we just uh, sit there like a, a bunch of grumpy old men putting the world to right while we're supping our beer, and it's marvellous fun. So why not turn up and see for yourself if you haven't already done so. And that's pretty much it for today, folks. Uh, stay well, stay safe, above all, stay sane, and I look forward to seeing you all again next time around. Bye for now, folks. <laughs>